Hey guys, this is Dan Spencer with ProToolStores.org, and today we're talking about the edit window scrolling options. There are four of them. Okay, so the first two you probably won't use. Um, if you go up into options and then you scroll down to edit window scrolling, your first option is no scrolling. Okay, so basically that means uh, you have your playback marker here. See it uh, cursor blinking there. I hit play. Okay. Now it disappears, but it's still playing. So basically your timeline regions aren't moving with it, which is honestly kind of annoying. Okay, so your uh, second option uh, over here is after playback. Okay, and what this does is it also doesn't scroll, but when you stop playing it, the page will shift to wherever your cursor stopped at. Okay, so watch this. Okay, it's playing, but we can't see it. Hit stop and then it shifted the page over to where we stopped at right here. Okay. Now your next option is uh, the option that I use pretty much all the time. It's called page. For page, it just follows the page. It's kind of like a book. So we do this. Okay. And then you can see it come out at the beginning there. So, you know, it's like flipping a page like a book. And your last option is continuous. And this just makes your timeline move with your cursor. So watch this. See, it's going like that. This is a nice one too. I know a lot of people like to use this one. So those are your four options for your edit window scrolling. And I recommend either using page or continuous. So this is Dan Spencer with ProTools Tutorials.org, and we'll see you next time.